May I inquire as to the uh, time remaining? From South Carolina has two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Uh, I have no more speakers. Jersey I'm has three minutes close. remaining. Three and a half. Mr. Speaker, I have no more speakers. I'm prepared to close. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Oh, so, all right, thank you. I yield myself such time as I may consume. Again, um, this bill, Mr. Speaker, is a massive valentine to the Communist Party of China. It would send untold amounts of American LNG to China to help continue to fuel its industrial rise without ever allowing for a review as to whether these exports are actually in the public interest. Now, what's going on here? Why on earth are Republicans eager to sell LNG to China when they know that LNG exports increase domestic natural gas prices for Americans? And I'll tell you why. Because the cost to American families means nothing as long as oil and gas companies profit. Numerous studies show that LNG exports result in increased cost to Americans. If we pass this bill, already volatile natural gas prices will be shaped by forces completely out of our control. It doesn't make any sense to me. Republicans are acting against American interests here, and I just wish my colleagues across the aisle would focus on what's important and not just on stalling tactics that pad the pockets of polluters. Now, Mr. Speaker, Republicans claim that this bill helps our European allies. And what a joke that is. The reality is that they don't care about our European allies who are currently going to the map for democracy and facing down Vladimir Putin in Ukraine. On Tuesday evening in the Rules Committee, we heard over and over again from our Republican colleagues that LNG is crucial for, allies in, for our allies in Europe. Unfortunately, these same Republicans have made it clear they have no interest in actually providing aid to Ukraine. They use the war in Ukraine to argue for LNG exports and push the arguments of their oil and gas friends, but when it comes down to actually helping allies, they are at best silent and at worst vocally against it. Last year, 21 radical House Republicans signed on to a letter opposing all supplemental funding requests for Ukraine in its struggle against Russian oppression. Weeks later, a majority of House Republicans voted against a bill offering a paltry amount of aid to Ukraine. And now after the Senate has done its part, they totally refused to bring a bill to the floor that would easily command a majority in the House. The behavior is unbelievable. I want to be clear. It will lead to the unnecessary deaths of Ukrainian soldiers and civilians. Mr. Speaker, I would simply ask my Republican colleagues, which is it? Do they actually care about assisting Europe? Do they think current LNG volumes in Europe are insufficient? Do they think tripling LNG volumes to Europe without issuing another permit is insufficient? Or do they really just want to protect the ability of big oil and gas to price gouge Americans here at home? If they were serious about supporting our European allies, they'd be supporting a bill on the floor that would spend money to do just that and not wasting time on this bill for the third time this Congress. If Republicans were serious about supporting our European allies, they would push back on Donald Trump's dangerous invitation to Russia to do whatever the hell they want if Europe doesn't spend more on its own defense. If this is what's helping our Democratic allies, if that's what that looks like, that's how to help them, are Republicans unable to see what's wrong here? How their inaction threatens European peace and security and our own national security. House Republicans are unwilling to spend a single dollar to defend democracy in Europe, but they're happy to sit here and argue again and again about a bill that will drive up costs for everyday Americans while lining the pockets of their big oil gas friends. And the, it's just unbelievable to me, Mr. Speaker, even for Washington. And with that, I uh, yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from New Jersey 